Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the Quadle Puzzle. Starting with the same five letters as always, what's it given us today? Well, interesting. So that top left, I think we're going to have, we could use the U, but I think it's more likely that we've got a repeated E. And we've now got the R in the right position in the bottom right, but it could still be straw or strap or stray. So I'm not sure I want to go for that quite yet. Let's try heady in the top right because it might turn out to be correct, but it will also give us more information in the other ones. So it's now no longer stray in the bottom right. And what about the bottom left? We're going to surely need to use the U, but we can't use the N. So it's probably not a UN beginning. And it can't be something like quilt because the I is fourth, not third. I could just guess straw or strap, but I don't think that's going to help me much in the bottom left. So I want to have a good go at working out what that bottom left one is before I guess something in the bottom right. What's it going to end with? I keep thinking of until or unlit, but as I said, we can't use the N. But does that mean it's likely to end with a T or an L? We know that we have to use the T somewhere. Limit, that's the answer. Oh, it's not the answer. But it's definitely helped because we now no longer have to consider the T in last position. And there's also only one I. So we've got the grey I in second. So we're definitely going to have to use a U, surely. Tulip. And this will also tell us whether it's strap in the bottom right, which it now has to be. So that's very convenient. And that's quadl in seven guesses, was that? Yes, seven. So quite slow. It took me a long time to think of limit and then tulip in the bottom left, but made up for it by only having seven guesses. So we had a little bit of uh, leeway before running out of guesses. So not too bad, I don't think. Let me know how you got on. That's the quadl puzzle for today. Thank you for watching and bye for now.